Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Machine Gun Studios Japan Mega Pack. Now, I haven't done an environment review in such a long time because, to be honest, I haven't really seen any photorealistic ones on the marketplace um, for a while. But when I saw this, I obviously follow Machine Gun. I follow a couple of sellers in the marketplace. This looks pretty darn good. All right, so instead of just looking at the environment by itself, I did add a couple of packs to kind of make it more playable. I have the Ascent Combat Framework. If you're familiar with ACF, you know exactly what this is. So here is the environment. I did change it up a little bit because I added some components and removed some components, but 99% of what you've seen here is what you're paying for, which again is pretty darn amazing. Because whenever I look at these packs, again, I'm thinking kit bashing, not necessarily just for this environment here, but you can create your own environment using these blueprints. So this is a BP right here. You can kit bash these together and create your own. And what's cool about it is the people in the marketplace are starting to really use Nanite, right? So you can see right here, Nanite trees also, right? Nanite everything now, which is amazing. I love seeing that. Because again, you're going to get a little bit more photorealistic results uh, whenever you're using high poly assets in here. So we're set at 57% screen percentage. So let's turn it up a little bit. Turn on our FPS here. So you can kind of see what we're running. This is at 100%. And yeah, let's just kind of zoom out so you can see how big the actual environment level is. This level comes with the pack. So you can tell stories in here right away which is really cool. I do like these trees, cherry trees that you can kind of kit bash in here. This looks pretty darn good, <laughs> to be honest. And um, I'm interested in this because I I've been trying to make like another Japanese kind of short. So that would be really cool because I started like two years ago or a year and a half ago when the meta humans first came out. So I kind of want to go back to samurais and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so here's the environment pretty darn good the lighting is good too and that's what's impressive about these environment artists is uh some of them are really good with lighting as well so it's really nice to kind of see like wow this looks legit like you can have two people fight here right now and it will look photorealistic uh, i did add this spider from acf so the uh, japan pack will not come with this spider um and then i just removed a couple of bushes right here in the middle to make room for that spider because again we're gonna go make a gameplay ish just to show you what it looks like in a game mode scenario this is this is very pretty okay i've never been to this type of japan i've been to tokyo but that's pretty much it but i do love i this is so pretty to me i absolutely love seeing instagram videos of japan like this right and again what i do here is i kind of just study how everything is kind of made out of um, which is pretty interesting. I'm seeing a lot more of this. This is really smart. Got some decal right there to kind of just change it up a little bit. Even the damage, that's just a decal, which is so smart. Even this crack right here. And again, you can just, whenever you buy this pack, you can just take that, take that decal and put it in your project and just kit bash the heck out of it. And it's so great. You know, whenever you do it like this, it's a smart move because this is going to let you not have to texture this entire thing. So it's modular, right? The walls are just regular walls, but you can customize it by just adding a bunch of cracks in there. So I'm going to look for this crack so you can kind of see where they're coming from. Looks like you got a couple. You have some dirt decals right here. You got a bunch. You got plaster damage. This is cool. So yeah, whenever you buy an environment, you're not just buying the environment, you're buying the assets that come with it, uh, which will makes it worth it. Because again, this thing right here looks really cool. I don't know if they have like an interior. Oh snap, they actually have interiors in it. It's not just like a facade. Wow, okay, let's take a look right here. That's cool. I didn't know that. So again, you can have, you know, two people talking right here like, hey, master, you know, 
if I beat you, can you give me your, your RTX 4090? That's sitting right here, right in front of each other. Stuff right there. Look at that backdrop too. And I believe, yeah, these, these are all geometry, right? Yep, they're instance fully ejectors. And now you can do this because of Nano, right? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. Even added this little temple up here. What kind of fog are those? Is just mesh? Mesh fog? Yeah, I think so. This is cool. And you do got some fake birds kind of flying around. Obviously, they look kind of funny up close, but from afar. That's a nice touch, dude. Like, if I'm up here... Oh, yeah. That's cool. You can even have, like, a camera panning down, like... Dun, 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 like that. Not panning down, but whatever. Dolly jib. Jib jab. And these mountains are cool, too. Let me take a look at these mountains. Wow. Okay, so that's about 524,000 triangles, nanite triangles. That's cool, dude. I mean, this could be a level. Like, honestly. This could be, like, a level for sure. All right? Just the way it's, it's just so detailed. And again, this excites me because we're getting more and more and more of these slowly, right? But... Eventually, we're going to have some really nice virtual production level environments in here. You even got some fish. That's so cool. Dude, that's so much work. Like, I'm curious to know how long it takes for them to make this. Oh, that's very interesting. What was that? Oh, okay. That, I clicked like on a foliage actor. Oh, this. The stones? Oh, no. Okay. So, no. Those are, those are geometry. Yeah. Stone floor. Oh, that's cool. I love that. You know why I love that? Is it's actual geometry, not just a flat plane. So, look at that. That's amazing. That makes, that makes so much... That makes the image so much better. Whenever you have actual geometry, because nothing in life is like just flat ground unless you're on, I don't know, some type of floor, but that looks good. Again, I'm going to steal all of these and use it on, on my project. Look at that. Cool. And again, this is Nanite here. Awesome, dude. Got a lot of I got a lot of stuff to use in here. <laughs> All right, so let's um. That being said, I'm, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, press play. Actually, let me just double check because what I actually want to see more of. I, I wish we can get some material instances. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about right here. Holy crap! So this is awesome. S so, so not a lot of people do this. Not a lot of sellers do this, but it looks like Machine Gun is doing that. So you can actually adjust the dirt in this material instance, and you can actually make it wet. You can add some wear and tear to it. I didn't, I didn't know. That's why I had to check. Some of them do it, but that's freaking amazing because what I do hate seeing a lot in the marketplace is that some of the stuff that are being sold are perfect, spotless, right? That's awesome. All right, so let's play this in editor now just to check it out even more. I mean, this is some pretty darn high quality assets here. Looks pretty darn nice. And I actually maybe want to try this out at night, maybe relight it for nighttime. I think it will look cool. It's going to take a lot of time, I think. But I don't know. I think it will be a cool idea to do. Look at that. All done. Take a picture right here. That's her thumbnail right there. Now, I did try this earlier with a UE4 skeleton character. Uh, it was glitching out, so I'm trying that UE5 skeleton right here. And as you can see, it looks a lot better. Let's fight. Yeah, fight him, dude. Yeah. Go get him, green skeleton, dude. Alright, I drew too much. Oh, 
Ooh, a lot of bunch of headshots. And he's dead. What did he drop? Nothing. Didn't drop nothing, dude. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty much it. That is uh, Machine Gun Studios Japan Mega Pack. It is amazing. It looks really freaking cool. I'm definitely going to be having fun with this. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Good job.